Do you remember him? He played Dice in Salmon Cat. Tremendous change here. He looks way more mature with facial hair. He has the same hair, just maybe a bit shorter. Either way, the change is spectacular. Change? What do you... Is my hair poofing? <laughs> now meet his girlfriend, Francesca Sabatino. They traveled around Europe this summer. As for career moves, he hasn't been very busy, but he starred in one movie last year, titled Project Payday. As for his other interests, he's actually a magician. Let's play a game. And he's also a gamer. You can find him on Twitch. That's awkward as f Wow. He must have really enjoyed that episode of Sam and Cat, huh? Next up, it next comes Riley Downs, who played Charlotte Page in hit show, Henry Danger. Riley looks far more mature with these long blonde curls. She definitely has grown up a lot. Her smile looks the same, though. And here she is with her sister, Raya. Raya is also an actress. Now check out how they looked as kids. Very cute. You guys give me a mad face? And here are some photos with her bestie, Lizzie Green, who's also in our video. Both girls worked together on 2017 movie, Tiny Christmas, and have been very close since then. I'm Rio. And I'm Lizzie. And we get <laughs> As for Riley's career, she has one new movie in production titled Darby and the Dead. That's a photo from the set. Interesting fact. Riley is talented at drawing. This is some of her work. Very good. Then we have Haley Chu, better known as Pepper Silverstein on Bella and the Bulldogs. Big change here, mostly with a new hairstyle and a color, although she left the bangs she had in the show. Looks good. More intriguing for sure. And job-wise, her last role was in Netflix series Trinkets, but she's also a very successful voice actor. You might have heard her in many animated series like Big Hero 6, the series, Amphibia, Kung Fu Panda, The Paws of Destiny, or The Loud House, to name a few. Oh, keep up the work! And check out her older sister, Brienne. They look quite similar, except for the hairstyle, of course. Brienne is also a popular actress, is Addison Rickey, who played Nora Thunderman in The Thundermans. One of the biggest transformations in this video, at least in my opinion. Addison was only nine in the first season. Now she is 18. She's grown up a lot and looks completely different. I guess she doesn't wear bows anymore. Nice. Also, ah! And check out her boyfriend, Dante. They've been together for eight months. Dante is a musician, but he doesn't mind making a TikTok with his girlfriend every now and then. Have you lost your mind? Yes, I lost my mind. Addison hasn't acted that much since The Thundermans, but you could have seen her in a web series, A Girl Named Joe, and short film, Maddie. She also has one film that didn't come out yet, titled The Man in the White Van. Interestingly, Breck Bassinger and Sky Jackson are also in the cast, and Madison Wolf. Quite a good actress as well, so it might be good. I love you. Yeah, cool. I love you too. Next up is older Nick star, Leon Thomas. You remember him as Andre Harris on hit series Victorious. Leon had shorter dreads not long ago, but now he's back to his old length, plus red highlights. Also, he has grown facial hair now, so the change is quite significant. Yeah! Please, now don't start something you can't finish. <laughs> <laughs> shows, bro. Do one of my favorite shows, bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want some? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. If you follow his career, you know that Leon is mostly focused on music. He's both a performer and producer. His newest single is titled Love Jones, and it features rapper Ty Dolla Sign. It's his first track under his own name since the album Genesis, published in 2018. Leon is also producing for other artists, like Drake. Then we have Cree Sacchino, better known as Babe Carano on Game Shakers. Another very pretty girl. Cree is 20 years old and has grown up a lot. Looks way better now without the bangs, in my opinion. But what do you think? Bangs or no bangs? Tell me in the comments. Oh, now we're involved. <laughs> And job-wise, her latest role was in the ABC series Big Sky as Emily. That's the picture with the cast of the show. And she has one movie in production titled Turtles All the Way Down, not Ninja Turtles, unfortunately. The phrase Turtles All the Way Down is an expression of the problem of infinite regress. And she'll star alongside another Nick star, Isabella Merced. Fun fact! Okay, uh, maybe not so fun. In school, Cree had to sit at a special lunch table alone due to food allergies. She is allergic to shellfish, mustard, soy, peanuts, dairy, and tree nuts. That's a lot. So? No! Oh. Next up is Koi Stewart. You will remember him as Troy Dixon on Bella and the Bulldogs. Okay, Koi looks very different these days. He has short hair, dyed blonde, and facial hair. Quite a good look for a rapper. Uh -huh. We're awesome. uh -huh. As for acting, you could have seen him in low-budget movie I Challenger, TV series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and comedy series Mr. Inglacias. Also recently, he was in one episode of Grey's Anatomy. Movies for the team! I buy it! Yeah. Yeah. I'm home. Left my wallet at home. But as you already know, he's also a rapper. He has the nickname Swim, and he's part of a music group called Group Therapy. Yeah. Swim's newest track is titled Big Steppa, and it came out two months ago. Then onto her friend from Henry Danger, Sean Ryan Fox. Also a big transformation here. His face is more lean and masculine, especially with the stubble. It seems like he's working out, and he has a better haircut. Looks good. And then the horse kicks Jasper in the face. 
And if you want to know what his interests are, just check out his Instagram page. Dogs, anime, fast cars. I like anime. <laughs> I collect buckets. Don't say it. I'm a bucketeer. Yes, buckets are great too. And take a look at his girlfriend, Katrina Brienne. According to her Instagram page, Katrina is a musician and actor. So same as Sean. And here with Jace, they are still close friends and see each other regularly. Bye! <laughs> As for acting, he hasn't gotten many new roles in the last two years, but he has one movie in production, titled The Midway Point. He's also available on Cameo. What's up, it's Sean Ryan Fox from Henry Danger. Next, we have a very beautiful Texan actress, Lizzie Green. You know her better as Don Harper on Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Don. As you can see, it's a very successful transformation from child star to grown-up star. Congrats to Lizzie. I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup today. And if you follow her, you know that she's a sweetheart in real life as well. And take a look at her gorgeous outfit for this year's Halloween. I think she's a dark fairy. Now check out what I found. Lizzie with Aiden. They were so small. Aiden even smaller than Lizzie. Superman! <laughs> now I'm Deadpool! As for acting, currently we can watch her on the ABC drama series A Million Little Things as Sophie. The fourth season premiered this year. Oh my god, no! Oh, no! I, I, sorry, I, I'm so stupid! No, no, no. Interestingly, she also has 612,000 subscribers on YouTube, although she hasn't uploaded for about a year now. Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. Now, fun fact that might shock you as much as me Lizzie is naturally a brunette. You're naturally a brunette. That is true. You need a dummy like it. Then we have Madison Shipman, also known as Kenzie Bell on Game Shakers. Madison has grown up into an attractive young woman. Of course, she always looked very nerdy in the show. Now, without the glasses and with blonde hair, her look has changed a lot. It's me, Jessica. And here she is with her boyfriend, Cole Sprouse. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, she promotes jewelry from Christina Wright with these amazing promo clips. I noticed that she even has earrings signed with her name. They surely look great on her. In regard to acting, she was in seven episodes of fantasy web series, Red Ruby, and in one episode of comedy show, Call Me Cat. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about your face, I can fix it. <laughs> and you can follow Madison on TikTok. She, of course, is dancing a lot, but also shares some cool stories from Game Shakers. I'm gonna be completely honest. I had a huge crush on him. I mean, obviously, Tanner's beautiful. And that's funny, because in the show, Babe was more into Mason. What? Hello? How long have you had this information? Hurting my arm again. Next up is Matt Shively. If you are old enough, you remember him as Ryan Laserbeam on True Jackson VP. Well, another Nick star who has changed a lot is Ricardo Hurtado, also known as Freddy Huerta from School of Rock. Hmm, Ricardo has grown up into a very handsome guy, although he was always pretty cute. There's way more to me than just my hair. I've also got eyes you can get lost in. <laughs> now meet his fiance, Zuzu Holland. They got engaged in November 2020. What else? Okay, you must know that Ricardo is a very energetic and sporty person. He does a lot of activities, like climbing or boxing, and recently he wrote on Instagram that he always wanted to learn how to dance, so he did. Of course, he's also a good singer. And there ain't no use to sing wonder why they as for his latest projects, he starred in a comedy series, Country Comfort, and in the movie Along for the Ride. He is also a voice actor. You could have heard him in animated series, Glitch Tex. And check out this clip. That's a really big spider. I would have died already. <laughs> Next Nickelodeon sweetheart in our video is Sia. He's quite unrecognizable, despite being grown up already in the show. So why is that? I think it's mostly because he changed his characteristic haircut from the show. Anyway, he looks good for his age. Whoa, what happened to your face? Lulu! <laughs> he recently shared effects of his three-month-long fitness transformation. The difference is noticeable. Congrats! You are super ripped under that ugly shirt. <laughs> ugly? And here he is with his girlfriend, Ashley Newbro. They have a lot of pics together. As you can see, he describes himself as your favorite forgettable funny guy. Well, we didn't forget about him, and I hope you didn't either. They call me help! Since the show, Matt was in tons of different projects. I'll just tell you that his most recent ones are TV series Players and Total Badass Wrestling. Sierra Bravo, she played Katie Knight in Big Time Rush. So it's a hard one. Sierra has grown up a lot since she played Katie. After all, 13 years is plenty of time. Though it's not as big of a difference as you would expect. She's still fully recognizable. Anyway, she looks very good. What? What are you talking about? She just mounted the. <laughs> now, career-wise, Sierra is quite a successful actress with many roles under her belt, from which the most important are probably those of Delia in web series Wayne and Emily in Cherry, where she played alongside Tom Holland. She created an amazing duo with Tom in this film. They looked really great together, and it seemed like they had some fun, too. How did we have so much fun and make one of the hardest films to watch ever? <laughs> exactly. Then we have very talented actress and singer Ella Anderson. Ella played Piper Hart in hit show Henry Danger, so it's a very big change for sure. She was tiny in the show, and now is seven. 17 years old, almost a grown-up. Also, she lightened her hair a bit. Looks great. Wearing makeup, flashing your fake ID, 
to go clubbing with your girls. As for career moves, she was in two short films, James II and The Big Red Bastard, the latter written and acted by Cooper Barnes himself. Very cool. Yeah! And her newest project is a movie, Suncoast. She recently shared pics from the set. It's filming right now, but I don't know how big her role is. Do you want to listen to her singing? Here you go. Fun fact, before she was cast as Piper in Henry Danger, she guest starred in episodes of a few Disney shows, such as Ant Farm, Dog with a Blog, and Liv and Maddie. It feels so good to be talented, doesn't it? <laughs> I want to be just like you when I grow up. Okay guys, Ella was the last one. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you soon.